Hey, Miss Flame here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Quick Shade from the Army Painter. I will show you the effects on unpainted and painted miniatures. For the unpainted miniatures, I'm going to use enemies from the board game Mice and Mystics, like this one. This one comes from the core box and I will also have some miniatures from the big box expansion. These miniatures are already in this brown color, which is really nice because the quick shade also has a darker brown tone, so this will work very well. For the painted miniatures, I'm going to use Fatties from Zombieside Black Plague. I've already painted and quick shaded the zombies from the game, but I've only applied the base colors to the Fatties, so now I only have to use the quick shade. Then you can easily see what the quick shade does to painted miniatures and especially the colors. Now first let me show you what you need to quick shade. There are a few things you need to quick shade miniatures. A piece of paper to protect the space which you will use. You definitely don't want any quick shade on your table. Some kitchen paper to wipe off any excess quick shade. Of course, quick shade from the Army Painter. I use the color Strong Tone. I use a screwdriver to open the lid of the can. You can of course use something else as long as it gets the job done. A wooden stick to stir the quick shade well with. I use a lollipop stick which I bought at a local craft store. There you can buy it in packs of 50 to 100 I believe. You can use something else here as well. A paintbrush to apply the quick shade on to the miniature. I am using a round number 4 brush. A number 5 brush would also be fine. Some gloves to protect your hands. I want to try to avoid to get any quick shade on my hands. These gloves will help with that. Some white spirit to clean your brush when you're done. You want to make sure to clean your brush. If you don't do that, you probably won't be able to use this brush the next time you want to apply quick shade. Try to clean your brush as soon as you can when you're done. It will be much easier to clean it. I speak from experience. And the most important, the miniatures you want to quick shade. I will open the lid gently with the screwdriver. If I notice the lid is loose enough to get it off, I will do so with my hand. Then put the lid aside. I will stir the quick shade for about a minute or two. Depends how long ago I have used it. I will apply the quick shade straight out of the can with my brush, as you can see here. I will just splash the quick shade on the miniature. You don't have to worry about using too much right now. The most important thing is that you want to make sure to cover all the areas which you want to use the quick shade on. And you want it in all the recesses. On this miniature, I am going to use it on the whole miniature. You can see big splash of quick shade on some areas. When I have fully covered the miniature, I am going to check and remove any excess I see. Now that the miniature is fully covered with quick shade, I am going over the miniature to remove all excess shade. Remove the shade where there is too much and where you notice it pulling. I do this by going over the areas with my brush and then wipe the brush over the kitchen paper. Also remove the shade from areas where you don't want too much shading, like raised areas or flat areas or areas which you want to be of a lighter tone. I will remove it, for example, from, from the top of the nose on the sword. Make sure to recheck areas where it will pull again. 
This will happen to all miniatures at their feet, for example. I will do this for about two minutes and recheck it after five minutes to make sure there are no more pools of shade. To remove the gloss, I use the anti-shine matte varnish from the Army Painter. Make sure to let the quick shade dry for at least 48 hours before you apply the varnish. This is what the miniatures look like out of the box, so before the quick shade. This is right after I was done with applying the quick shade. Here it has been at least 24 hours after applying the quick shade. Here you can see the difference between the miniatures. One has the quick shade and also the matte varnish. The other one is how they come in the game box. For the painted miniatures I do exactly the same as the unpainted. As you can see here I splash on the quick shade and need to make sure it covers the whole miniature. The first time I used the quick shade I was a bit worried if this would not ruin it. I spent some time applying the base colors and want to, them to look good. I saw what the results could be but I was still a little scared. You just have to trust me and the quick shade that it will not ruin your lovely miniatures and that it will make it look good. The quick shade will darken the colors a lot, so when you paint them you want to make sure to use lighter colors. When I was painting my zombies and fatties I called them my superhero zombies, but when the quick shade is dry the colors will look much better. After the miniature is covered with quick shade, I will then go over it to remove all the excess shade. I do this the same as the unpainted miniature, again for about 2 minutes. And make sure to check it again after 5 minutes to remove and make sure there are no pools at areas like the feet. When you are done, let the quick shade dry for 24 hours. Then it will be dry enough that you can touch the miniature. When it is dry, the miniature will be very durable, but it will also be extremely glossy. Because of the gloss, it might not look very good yet. Let the quick shade dry for another 24 hours, so 48 hours total, before you use a matte varnish on it. The matte varnish will completely remove the gloss and then the miniature will look great. To remove the gloss, I use the anti-shine matte varnish from the Army Painter. Make sure to let the quick shade dry for at least 48 hours before you apply the varnish. This is what the painted miniatures look like after applying the base colors. This is 24 hours after applying the quick shade. And this is the fatties with quick shade and the matte varnish. So that's how you quick shade miniatures. I think the result is really great. The quick shade does a good job at darkening the areas in the recesses, but still having a lighter tone at the raised areas on the miniature. I'll mainly use it on enemy types, like the zombies from Zombieside. I think that's a great example to use quick shade. There are lots of enemies of the same type. You want them to look good, but you don't want to spend all that time highlighting because that's going to take forever. So what you do is apply the base colors, let it dry, apply the quick shade and boom, it's going to look good. It also does a good job at showing details on the miniature. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments below. Which miniatures are you going to quick shade? They will look great, so let me know.